last week on All In. Post further for a two-hand rim rocker. The second dunk on the night for John Smith. Off it throws it to Keeley, two-hand rim rocker. During last week's two-game homestand, the Ohio came out on fire with wins over Bowling Green and UNC Asheville. At 20-6 and six and 8-4, and four, hopes are still alive for a bye all the way to the conference tournament semifinals. I could tell just from how hungry our guys were after going through the road trip uh, that they were excited to be back at home, uh, excited to practice and get better. And I thought we did that last week. You know, I thought we grinded out the Bowling Green game because we're down one with seven and change to go and, and guys made some plays there uh, at both ends and then I thought we came out with a ton of energy in a big time environment uh, on Saturday against UNC Asheville. It was good to you know good to rebound a little bit from the road trip and and uh, find a way to get two more wins. After taking care of business against Bowling Green and UNC Asheville, Ohio prepares to dive back into Mac East play. Up next for the Cats, a trip to Buffalo. Ask anyone associated with Ohio basketball, and they'll tell you Walt Offit is about as tough and fearless as a player gets. However, flying and number three don't mix. Good weather, good weather, looking good. Yeah, no problem. A little bumpy for the first uh, few minutes. As soon as we get up above these clouds, it smooths out real nice. Not a big fan, but you give me a safe. I'll take good care. Yeah, I went. I graduated All right. from OU. All right, good, good, good. That's good. That's good news. That's good news. And you never know what can happen on airplanes. It's always too, too much that can go wrong, and when something does go wrong, it's going down. Like one time I touched the little, uh, the, the little wing thing, I touched it and he just started spazzing on me. What are you doing? I'm like, well, what? Like, I just touched it. What are you doing? No, 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 no. Like, my hand's not gonna uh, help, like, not gonna change anything, so, are you spazzing? But like, we'll just be on the plane, and everyone will be quiet, and you just hear Walt just wake up, ah, ah. Everybody just like, what the, what's going on? It just walks fast and just because the turbulence came on or something like that. Oh, God. And so when, when, when you weren't in the right seat the other day and then, uh, and then when Evo, Evo wasn't in the right seat, you was sitting next to me, I got kind of freaked out because, you know what I'm saying? Because what happened was the, the last flight, everybody was in the same seat and everything went smoothly. Now you don't never know when new people were in new seats and something differently might happen in the plane. So. While many people think a road trip is time for relaxation, the Bobcats spend most of the day, as any college student would, studying. It's extremely important that Ohio student athletes keep up with their schoolwork while on the road, so study hall is held throughout the day. Fortunately for us, we can travel. Uh, someone with us, Randy Duffy, does an incredible job with our players and really cares about, as we all do, their academic success as much or more than their athletic success. And, you know, part of that deal right now when you're traveling as much as we are and you're in the middle of the week, you know, we're in, you know, week eight of a 10 week quarter. Uh, it's important because there's guys have stuff that's due, guys have tests that they're either taking on the front end, taking on the trip, or taking when they get back, depending upon what the professor wants. As I'm getting older, you know, I kind of realize, you know, it's, you know, I'm, I'm a student athlete, you know, I'm here, here, you know, learn and then, you know, play ball. As the Bobcats make their way to Alumni Arena, they're fully aware of just how important this matchup will be. Okay, last thing I want to talk to you about is just a couple team things here. Okay, number one, 
We went on a road trip a week ago. It's gone. That door is closed. We got an open door tonight. What do we need? We need to have learned. We're not going to absorb it. We've learned. We've moved on. But we know we got to be tougher and more together. We got to show poise and composure. Tonight's an opportunity to take another step in that direction. What a great opportunity. We're going to play with confidence. We're going to be aggressive. Confidence, aggressive. Here we go. Coop, you got it. One, two, three. All for one, one, one for all. One, two, three. three. Finished. Time to eat. I'm hungry. All baseline left on the drive, slide it through, pocket right off it for three, bang! As the game begins, Ohio jumps out to an early lead. But the Bulls continue to fight. One dribble to McCray, decks it left to the painted area, corner left, Dilson for three. 13-8, Buffalo on top five, 14-48 to go first half. Throughout the first half, the lead goes back and forth. <laughs> Working right in the painted area, it's Baltic. Show and go to the rim, layup, yes. Schooled, Mitchell won on the low block on the right side, and the Cats have five for Baltic, and the lead is five, 20 to 15. And Taylor streaks into the front court, gets to the foul line, beneath the line, teardrop of the right hand, yes, sir. And Stevie lets out a yell as he runs down the floor. Cats up four, 22-18. Saved by Hall, here comes Cooper on the push. Behind the back dribble, raises, fires, and bangs down to three. And Ohio takes the lead back, 27-26. All baseline left on the drive, slide it through, pocket right off it for three, bang! That's his second made, Trey Bob, Ohio on top by two, 32-30. At halftime, Ohio's up by five. You gotta find a win, you gotta grind it out. You did that for 20 minutes, we got 20 more to play. Right now they've got four offensive rebounds, we've got 11 defensive, that's excellent. Let's make sure we're the most aggressive team this half. Let's bring it in. We'll get back out to warm up. We got a long jog here to the court. 20 minutes left. 20 minutes, man. 20 minutes to get to nine and four. 20 minutes. We can do anything for 20 minutes. All right? Walt, you got it from back there. One, two, three. All for one, one, one for all. One, two, three. Finish. Finish. Here we go. Let's go, man. Take it now. When play resumes, it's all Bobcats. Off of the inbound, looking, looking, looking. The ball's thrown in the backcourt. Kellogg stepped back there and intercepted it. One on, one to the goal ramp. Yes, counted and a foul. Nick Kellogg picked it off, turned and went to the goal, banked it in with a kiss and a spin. He'll go to the line and try to cap a three-point play. 46-39 Ohio. Point right, dribbles to the foul line, beneath the line. Left-hand flyer rolls around. No follow, yes by Reggie Keeley, and Ohio's bench pops up. The Cats are plus 10. Off it, high in the left wing. Dashes to the rim, Miss the layup. Follow dunk by Evo Baltic. 9.24 to go. Ohio's 12-point lead is down to eight now, 60 to 52. Every time Buffalo cuts into the lead, a Bobcat is there to step up and answer. Six to shoot, left wing, off it for three, bang! 73-59, 14-point lead on the road with four minutes left, and this one could be done. Rebound Baltic, tapped it out to Kellogg, back of the defense, runs to the rim, layup, yes, and this baby is done, 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 done. No one in our league's come in here and won. Okay, they were undefeated here. They were 11 and 1 at home. That's a hell of a job. That's a hell of a win, fellas. That's a hell of a win. Okay, a lot of guys contributed, man. We got stellar play, and everybody contributed that came off the bench. Got great contributions there. 
a key contributor in the win over the Bulls, sophomore utility man TJ Hall. He stepped up big while teammate Ricardo Johnson missed the game because of a back injury. Well, he was huge in that game. I don't know if we win the game without him. Uh, obviously, Rick was hurt. TJ took advantage of not only playing the minutes at the three position that sometimes Rick plays, but we also got in big time foul trouble. So he had to play in the front court as well. If the, the guard's smaller than me, I try to get more rebounds, be a little more, a little more uh, physical. Uh, the guy bigger than me, I try to be more finesse, go around him, maybe hit him with a couple shots or something. Uh, defense rebound, play good, play good D, and just be a mismatch for him, basically. Uh, you know, sometimes when, you know, presented with an opportunity, like he was, I mean, he, he saw the open door and he sprinted right through that sucker and took, took advantage of it, and it's great because now I think it gives us and him even more confidence moving forward that hopefully he continue to can continue to head in that positive direction and be able to contribute for us and help us. Bye bye Buffalo. Back to Athens with an 11 point victory and a 22 and 6 and 9 and 4 record. Ohio is currently in second place in the Mac East and its sights are set on a bye all the way to the conference tournament semifinals. Up next, a Sunday night special with Mac leader Akron. Even though the Bobcats didn't arrive home until well after 1 a.m., they're still student athletes. And many have to be in class the next morning at 8 a.m. sharp. It was a good win. Good, win. good roll win at Buffalo. Good roll win at Buffalo. About to go to class. If we get a win, it's always easier, you know. But, you know, losing, I don't ever feel like getting up. I don't feel like seeing my, my classmates here at the university, you know. After a win, it's always exciting to go into a classroom and everybody congratulating you or whatnot. So, you know, it's, it's okay. Pete, what's up? Yeah, great win last night. Yeah, well, it wasn't pretty, though, at the start, but we finished it off. You did it. Graduate this year. But I, I have one more year left, so coming back to finish out the my career strong. Now I go to grad school next year, so should be good next year too. Got everybody coming back. After the victory at Buffalo, Ohio sets its sights on Mac leading Akron. The Zips are an impressive 12-1 in conference play and have been on a roll for the past two months. While Miami may be Ohio's traditional rival, there's no love lost between the Bobcats and Zips. I've said that this week that sometimes a rivalry is a rivalry because both teams have, have been successful uh, against one another. You know, they've won some of the games, we've won some of the games, a lot of them have been very close, you know, one or two possessions. I think our guys have a great deal of respect for, for them. They have a great deal of respect for their, their staff. They do a great job. But when the ball's tipped, you know, at that point, we neither team probably likes each other a whole lot. You know, I, I think it's a healthy, healthy rivalry for sure. And, uh, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, hopefully uh, tonight's game will be another one of those games that, you know, that uh, is just another old fashioned grinder. You know, that's how a lot of them have been in the series. Two competitive teams, you know, want the same thing. Their first seed with the second seed, you know, we beat them a couple years ago in the MAC championship. And, uh, you know, it's in the back of our mind, you know, they got the same, most of the same guys from, from that year. And, you know, we have some of the same guys too. On Saturday night, the team assembles at John Gross's house for dinner. One last refresher of tomorrow night's game plan. Don't sit close to the food nowadays, you know. I gotta, the dorm life is hard, bro. Yeah, you gotta sit close to the food, and I get the TV. And there, so far, watch me eat. Call me Kobe. 
<laughs> At some point in time in tomorrow's game, as I've told you before, 30% of it's going to be smooth and 70% of it's going to be stormy. And usually when you play them, it's about 10% smooth and about 90% stormy. It's a fun time of year, fellas. Soak up every, every day that you get a chance. Okay? Soak it up, man. It flies by. It flies by. I can't believe it's February 25th. And that's a tribute to you guys because that means I've had some fun with you. Okay, it's flown by. All right, so tomorrow, let's relish the opportunity. Let's make sure that we're aggressive. Let's go out and play Ohio basketball tomorrow. Game night in Athens is always special. And when Akron makes the trip, the intensity jumps up a notch. With 15 convo wins and 16 tries, this is the most successful home campaign in school history. A win over the Zips in the Athens finale would be fitting. Hey, compete with toughness. For 40 minutes, we compete with toughness, and we embrace and enjoy this thing, man. We're confident in one another, in ourselves, in the system, and we come out swinging, man, right from the very beginning. Embrace and enjoy the moment. Let's get after him. Let's go. Let's let it rip. Cope, you got it. One, two, three. All for one, 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 two, three. Let's go. Ah, there have been some dandies between these two ball clubs over the years. Ohio and Akron, it's a final regular season contest here at the Convocation Center, and we bring the convo to you tonight. Enjoy the broadcast of the ballgame, everybody, as Ohio controls the tip and goes to the goal to our left. Off and straight on three. Bang. How about that? To start it off tonight, a trade bomb from the top from number three, and Ohio's on top, 3 nothing. Long on the right side, it's Baltic. Got a fire here. Off and at the top, desperation three. Bang! Right from the start, it's all Bobcats. Every facet of Ohio's game is high level. Pick the pocket, it digs, runs to the goal, and lays it in. 17-7. Taylor comes up to the front court now for the Cats. On the push, plus nine. Back door, Keeley, one dribble, right hand dunk. Now it's Cooper left wing. High on the right side, Kellogg for three. Book it. Oh, baby, the Cats are hot. Corner left, Kellogg for three. Bang! Right off the inbound, pocket left. Under a minute to go for the first half. Keeley drives on a Brayu shut off on a double team. Hall, one dribble layup. Yes, on the right side. 19's just fine. All right, fellas, we played 20 minutes now. We got 20 more to play, okay? It's not a 20 minute game, it's a 40 minute game. We know that. All right, so we got to play these wars one at a time. I said before the game, we're going to take our job seriously, one possession at a time, and we're going to the result will be the result. But we're going to lock it in and we're going to be mentally focused. Everybody does their job on every possession. All right, let's go out. Let's give them our best shot here. Let's get lathered up. Let's go. Let's go now. Let's go. DJ, you got it. One, two, three. All for one, one for all. One, two, three. Finish. Into the post. Back high on the right side off it. Corner right, Kellogg. Couldn't fire from three. Now it's Bolton. Back to Nick. He'll shoot a three. And he made it. Long bouncers, Ventinovich streaks to the goal. Shot blocked away by Offit. Ventinovich wanted the call, didn't get it. Offit was right of the paint, ran to the left block and blocked the shot. High on the right, it's Cooper. Three on the way. Bang! Oh, baby, what a night. In the second half, Ohio picks up right where it left off stretching the advantage to 33.
Abreu bounces it to the foul line, and it's stolen away by Offit. Abreu trying to get it to McClanahan. Wing left, Cooper for three, book it. You can tell that was going to be all string for DJ right on the release. Left of the painted area, Harney shot blocked away by Smith, starts a break, Taylor runs into the front court, runs to the rim, layup, no, follow, dunk by John Smith, and oh, baby, what a night this has been. The Cats are not going to let up. Cooper wing left, fumbled the dribble, keeps on dribbling. Right on the arc on the right side, back into the paint, over the shoulder, dump to Smith for another jam. Oh my goodness. It's the 23rd win of the season for the Bobcats and the 10th in Mac play. Good enough for second place in the East and the league. Now Keeley runs into the paint and lost the ball. Walsh picks it up and here comes Akron. Jump pass over to the right side. Hall stepped up there and stole it away. Three on one, Taylor to the rim, hands it off to Gord for a two hand dunk. 154 to go, 83-59, Ohio on top by 24. Big time contributions from everybody that played. Unbelievable job, okay? Unbelievable job. Now. We got to make sure, because I know what you guys are wanting to do here down the stretch, that we don't swallow this thing now. Everybody just asked me the question, is that as good as you can play? I said, hell no. It's not. Okay, so we got to focus on getting better, and we got another one on Wednesday. Okay, we got to keep going like this. Okay, DMAC, you got it. One, two, three. Oh, for one more throw. One, two, three. Finish. The Bobcats now have only two games left before the conference tournament. A road trip next week to Kent and Miami will determine the league's final standings. Two more chances for the Cats to prove they're all in.